solid lifter showroom. You know what that means? If you're a Chevy guy and you're into 1969s, <laughs> this is the place to be. The solid lifter showroom. I may be buying one Tuesday. We'll find out. 69 Z28, all original 21,000 mile car. It's got so many original parts that it won an award in Chicago at the MACN, MCAN, Muscle Car, blah, blah, blah. Original paint, got dents and dings and paint work. And it's original, that's the way GM made them. We're gonna run through here. Can't describe the cars too well because there's too much to detail here. It's got the original Sports Car 200 Firestones, Hound's Tooth Interior, four speed, Tick Tock Tack and Sawtooth Gauges. Cal induction hood and stripes. Across the uh, laneway here, we've got a driven to the show 1969 L72 427 425. It was not listed as being available, but the guy worked at the Chevy dealership, if I understand the story correctly, and he knew exactly what to buy to go racing. 427, 425, no power steering or brakes in a Biscayne two door sedan. It's got an M22 rock crusher, close ratio four speed bench seat and no options at all it's not radio delete because the radio was optional so it's no radio option it's plain jane nothing rubber floor mats which may have been replaced with carpet because where are you going to get a rubber floor mat this car was hacked by the guy's wife ex-wife the kid sold the motor for drug money where are you going to find another l72 427 425 Double pumper dual feed holly. It is a double pumper. No mistake there. This guy drove it with big tube headers and a four speed close ratio rock crusher, 355 final drive. He drove it from Burlington, Ontario. It's a Flint car built in Flint, sold in Flint, drag raced in Flint, street raced in Flint. It provided money to buy the groceries. 69 Impala SS 427 425 convertible buckets console four speed eight track AM radio Can you imagine someone going to the showroom and saying I want a 427 425 and I want it to be pretty white white top red interior rallies No power steering. It's got power front disc brakes witness the large master cylinder power brakes and that is not badge engineered. This is a 427, 425, L72 solid lifter. It's even got the air injection reactor pump. Big pulley on the alternator, hard to see. This is a serious car. <laughs> even had optional hideaway headlights on these babies. El Camino, 1969. Buckets, console, four speed, tack, gauges, AM, FM radio, remote control mirror, vinyl top a little bit of extra chrome this is restored and it's beautiful it's polished to perfection it's only a 325 horse which is basically your station wagon motor but it's air conditioned and it's got a stick shift and it's restored to perfection with the hoses painted as they would have been from the factory the Tanawanda engine factory near Buffalo New York the exhaust manifolds painted just a little bit of overspray El Camino We've got a bunch of huffy bicycles, middleweight, rugged constructed, and made in USA. Go find that nowadays. 69 Nova, 396, 375 horse. Got the correct AC air cleaner, large pulley alternator, the correct stampings, heater core offset to clear the big block valve covers, tower clamps. Are they original? Well, they're probably reproduction Chinese. This car is restored to perfection. Maroon, I can't tell you the color. It's got dog dish hubcaps and red lines. Most cars back then had white walls. Four speed Hurst shifter. No tack, no gauges. It's got an AM radio, rubber floor mat. It's a taxi cab, a two door taxi cab with 375 under rated horsepower. Solid lifter showroom. Another 69 Nova, L78. 375 horse. No air pump present here, but it does have the big pulley alternator. It's got the correct brackets and clamps, and it has a sticker from Dick Carroll Performance Center. 
big tube headers. It's a day three car. It took a couple of days to put the headers on, the slicks. Maybe they rolled the fender or cut it back a little bit, maybe. Yeah, looks like someone's done some trimming in there. Where are we? Right there. They may have trimmed the inner fender well lip. Four speed, it's got a little consulate. Period correct, sun, super tack. It's got the pedal dress up kit. Chrome around the windows or polished aluminum. It's got some correct stickers. Jenkins competition. What a beautiful day three restoration. Power brakes, but no power steering. To stop it at the end of the quarter mile from those high speed runs. Oh, let's read the blurb. And this says, let's see. Dover White, Black, Willow Run, Michigan, February 27th, 1969. Belmont Chevrolet, Weston, Ontario. Additional fuel, front bucket seats, exterior soft trim, roof cover. It's gone. Firm ride and handling, F41, G80 Posi, J50 vacuum power brakes, disc brake front, 386, special high performance, four speed wide ratio, M20. That was the light duty one. Wasn't the M21 what you would have ordered or an M22 close ratio? E7014, four ply red line tires, heavy duty battery, push button radio, engine coolant, increased protection, exterior decor package, tire pressure sticker, SS body conversion, Canadian warranty booklet, super sport. Got the genuine fake valve covers. It's polished and gleaming, and it's got Prager SS's and headers and slapper bars. 69 Camaro, another day two car with huge tube headers, no power steering. It has power brakes. It's got the correct angled neck radiator, which was particular to the big block cars, I believe. It's bright green with a bright white interior. It's got some aftermarket contemporary gauges and a four speed with no console. And then crossing the aisle here, we've got a 69 Yenko Camaro. 427 with some Anson wheels maybe. Wow, dark green, period correct tack for the day. Stuart Warner, green line gauges, AM radio, base Camaro, no options, maybe a little bit of chrome, it's got a vinyl halo, vinyl top, and a 427 from Yanko, Don Yanko Chevrolet in Cannonsburg, Pennsylvania. We all read about these cars when they were new, and here's one in 2019, properly restored with all the correct tints, sheen, paint, looking like a million bucks, and let me tell you, a Yanko Super Coupe, it's probably worth a million bucks. If it's not, give it a couple of months. The Yanko Super Camaro, 427, 450 horsepower. Copo car, central office production order, special edition, meant to go drag racing. Here's one under restoration. 427, 425 horse automatic. And this restoration is done absolutely perfectly beyond reproach. Everything is perfect. Every paint sheen, every stamp on the firewall, the paint overspray, all the chrome and tin and trim and stainless is polished to perfection. The correct bolts, the correct dum dum over the relays. Everything is done perfect or it's not done at all. These guys could tell you stories of 427 cars. There was five of them stolen from the dealership. And uh, a fellow over there bought the car. The motor was long gone, never surfaced. They only made 69 of these, all alloy, all aluminum block and heads. There's only 69 of them made, maybe another one or two for service replacement CE blocks. And he found one. And the car's being restored 40 years later. The car was stolen brand new right from the dealer's lot. They used this car, the bodies at the restoration shop, to break through the chain link fence, bash the car, and stole five ZL1 Camaros and Corvettes. Camaros and Corvettes, and a couple of them were recovered, and a couple of them were parted out. The motor's gone, this is gone, that's gone. And 40 years later, the guy is finally having it restored. Beautifully done. This one up on the hoist is a dusk blue 427 solid lifter 
and it's got white striped Goodyear's. Unbelievable car, amazing car. The restoration is second to none, nothing. No stone is left unturned, no clamps in the wrong place. Every paint, daub, stripe, mark. They use NOS clamps when available, and Chinese ones when not. Every detail here is as produced. Of course, these cars were made in various factories in Atlanta and Ontario and Fremont, California. Things were changed mid-year, exhaust tips were made longer, shorter resonators were made unavailable. Unbelievable restoration. The best restorations known to man, or second best, as good as they can get it. And that's really good, because these guys document original unrestored cars and try their best to reproduce it. The solid lifter showroom at the 2019 first day of summer. Supercar restorations, two-man shop. They got a body shop down the street, 30 miles away, and they do perfection. Another solid lifter Copo car, fully documented, 69 Chevelle. It's not an SS, it's a 300 Deluxe. Two-door sedan, ZL1 427, 450 horsepower, aluminum block and heads, M22 close ratio, Muncie rock crusher. It's a plain Jane cowl inducted car. It's just as rare as rare can get, but it's air pump equipped. And every washer, every nut, bolt, fastener, screw, trim, everything is as it would have been produced by GM back in the day. Bench seat, long Muncie shifter. There's good restorations, there's great restorations, then there's these restorations. And the fellows that do them, one gentleman's right there. They do serious, beautiful, top of the line work. No halfway work, no it's good enough, don't worry about it. It's either perfection or get out of my shop. The original window sticker, purchase order, car shipper report, everything is right here. This is a $7,300 car. You could buy the fanciest Cadillac for less than that. Special four-speed trans, comfort tilt steering wheel, sport styled steering wheel, front bumper guard, special front and rear suspension, rear bumper guard, green vinyl trim, chambered exhaust, yes! Special instrumentation, high performance unit. Cost more than the car, $4,500. Unbelievable. So it turned a $2,500 plain Jane six cylinder car into a $7,300 car. The engine was almost double the price of the car. Needless to say, these went to rich drag racers, probably with some fancy sponsoring. It's got the TikTok tack, sport wheel with tilt steering, bench seat, and a four speed. It's a sedan, two door post coupe. It's got no chrome trim. It's plain dog dishes. And you can be sure every detail on this car is as correct as can be. We had it up on the hoist earlier. It's an amazing car. It even has bumper guards. Why would you order bumper guards when you're going drag racing? Well, they did. A double Copo Chevelle. One of one Cortez Silver vinyl roof four speed Copos. 427, 425, M21. Four speed manual. It doesn't say close or wide ratio. You could have had an M20 one with a close or wide ratio. Close ratio, you needed a steeper final drive, like a 373 or 410s, because you're starting off with a 220 first gear. It's like almost starting off with second gear. Amazing, beautiful restoration, right down to the chrome exhaust tips, the blacked out tail pan. Unbelievable cars. <laughs> it's just incredible. Oh, I wish I was Patrick Glenn Nichols. He's the muscle car barn find guy. He could decode every tag here and he'd know the details far better than I would. Chevrolet Chevelle. What a great place. We're happy that people brought their cars. They're sitting here describing all the details of their Z28s, their Chevelle SS's, their Camaro 427s, their Biscaynes. This car was street raced for grocery money. Street race on Saturday night, buy the groceries on Sunday. They used to win. They never marked the time in the window. He knew what it ran at the drag strip. It's got a brutal story. And this fellow drove it all the way from Burlington, Toronto, Ontario, 500 miles in the rain, trucks on the road. 
427 solid lifter M22. The M22 only came with the 425 horsepower motor. Not in the 350, not in the 390 horse, only in the 425 horse. Underrated, this came. That's it. It's a fun video. The battery's going dead. Doesn't get any better than spring Carlisle, first day of summer in Pennsylvania. Car crazy. I don't know, which one would you take? The beautiful Impala SS convertible or the taxi cab? Both got the same motor. They're both four speeds. Or a Chevelle, or a Camaro, or a Z28, or an El Camino, or a Nova. God. Amazing. Amazing.